If you're waiting until the new year to travel, there are some destinations that are especially attractive for travelers on a budget. Travel website hitmonk.com analyzed the average price for flights leaving from the U.S. with 2018 departure dates and compared it to a similar time frame for flights booked last year. With more, I'm joined by Justin Sablich. He's a contributing writer with The New York Times. Good morning. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, great. Thanks for having me. So tell us, first of all, before we get to the actual destinations, about the process involved in finding the best places and times to travel for the coming year. Sure. Uh, so as you sort of mentioned there, uh, Hitmonk is a uh, travel website and app, uh, and they uh, stud, you know, they uh what they do is they uh, study itineraries that were booked from uh, 2016 that were looking ahead of 2017 travel and compare those to uh, itineraries from this past year that were looking for 2018 travel. And by doing that, by comparing the two, they were able to identify the destinations that you know were trending in the cheaper direction uh, mm. compared to last year. So. Um, and they also did a similar study to determine which month of the coming year is likely to be the most affordable for a lot of these same destinations. Okay, well, let's break it down. Uh, talk yeah. to us about some of the recommendations, beginning with international destinations. Sure. The, the number one uh, most affordable destination on their list was uh, La Paz, Bolivia. And, uh, you know, this, this is a city that's sort of uh, becoming trendier. It's... A lot of people call it uh, South America's coolest city, and uh, the city itself has done a lot to sort of rebuild its infrastructure, and they have a very highly rated uh, restaurant scene. So, you know, when I was going into this topic, I thought maybe the, the list that they would have come up with are places that might not be that, that fun to travel to, but a lot of the places they've identified are, are either up-and-coming cities or they're sort of your classic uh, you know, cities like Barcelona and, right. and, and Melbourne, those are cities you that have a lot to offer that you want to get to no matter what year it is. So it was, really was an interesting mix of cities that they've identified. When's the best time to book flights? To book flights? Um, well, as far as uh, if you're trying to lock in the lowest fare, the, the, the simplest rule and number one rule is to do it just as soon as possible. Because uh, what Hitmonk told me was the, the lowest fares that, um, that they identified, they don't, don't tend to last long. Um, there's a lot of different factors involved for why you know, a, a fare is, is where it is. Sometimes it uh, has to do with airlines competing with each other, and that drags the price down. Um, so you really want to jump on it, you know, as soon as possible. Uh, you know, there's uh, so for these for these uh, destinations for 2018, it's definitely like as soon as you decide you want to go, you should really lock in the fare because, yeah, it could spike up, you know. OK, I've you got know about it. 30 seconds left, Justin, mm -hmm. for travelers who want to go to the U.S. and our dollars is not great right now. But if they want to go to the U.S., what are some of the places that are recommended? Sure. Um, one city is uh, New Orleans, which is, uh, they're celebrating their, their 300th uh, anniversary this year. So they're, uh, they've done a lot as well to uh, rebuild their infrastructure. They're, they're, uh, they rebuilt uh, or uh, refurbished Bourbon Street. And uh, there's going to be a lot of festivals and different events in New Orleans. And also uh, Key West, Florida, which uh, is in the Florida Keys. Mm -hmm. They're recovering from Hurricane Irma that they dealt with last year. Uh, Key West was spared of a lot of the bigger damage, but because of the perception you know, of recovering from the disaster, some people might think it's not a great place to go, but, but it's, it's open for business. It's pretty much as good as it's ever been. So now is a really good time to, to lock in a low fare for, All right. for somewhere like Key West. All right, Justin Sablich with the New York Times. Thank you so much. Appreciate your Great. time with us.